Bonjour and welcome to Easy French Cooking. Who wants to learn how to cook the traditional coq au vin? I'm Victor and in this video we are going to cook a fantastic French classic, the coq au vin. It is a real treat and it is also one of the French traditional Christmas recipes. But of course, you can eat it at any time during the year and it is awesome for a dinner party. Most of the time you'll be using chicken, so why is it called coq au vin and not chicken au vin? Well, that's because back in the days, when the rooster was getting old and it was time to replace it, it would not be wasted, but instead it would be used to prepare this delicious meal. Now, if you don't have any hands and if you don't have an old cock, uh, you will be using chicken, of course, because that's what most people do nowadays when they cook cock over. Let's go! Okay, ingredients. For this recipe for four people, you will need a cock or a chicken which you will be carving, so you could also just buy chicken breasts and thighs from your butcher. Lovely breasts, nice sexy legs, what's not you like? All right, all right, let's move on. Wine, one whole bottle of strong red wine. 250 grams of bacon, two nice carrots, 250 grams of mushrooms, button mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms would work well. One onion, two garlic cloves, aromatic herbs, thyme, parsley, bay leaf, which put together make what you call a bouquet garni. A small liquor glass of cognac, that's for the flambe, olive oil, butter, we'll be using just a little bit of it, one tablespoon of flour, peppercorns, salt, and pepper. And now the gear. You will need two chopping balls, one for the chicken and one for the vegetables, as you must always keep raw meat separate from the rest. A big pot or saucepan, kitchen tongs, kitchen roll, scales, I have mechanical ones, but of course you can use digital ones too. A sharp knife, a pillar knife, a slotted spoon, a medium saucepan, a wooden spoon, a frying pan, a mixing bowl, a sieve, a tablespoon, and a liquor glass, and a few matches for the cognac. So quite a few things, but they are all basic kitchen utensils. And for good kitchen gear, as well as quality meat and grocery delivery services, I have put a few links in the description below, so just take a look. For coq au vin, you need to do some preparation the day before. So, first of all, rinse the carrots under cold water. That's something you should always do with vegetables. Then, peel the carrots. and slice the carrots. Peel the onion. Then slice the onion. Put the onions and the carrots in the mixing bowl. Pour the wine. Yep, all of it, the whole bottle. Oh, yes. Add the chicken pieces. Oh, whoops. 
Then the Bukegani. And the peppercorns. Cover it with some cling film or with a plate. And put it in the fridge overnight to marinate. The next day, peel the garlic. and crush it. So here is your marinade, which you have now taken out of the fridge. Whoa, this looks good. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to remove the pieces of chicken. Now have this nice color and you're gonna dry them a little bit with a kitchen roll. That's it. Dry all of them. Oh, they look gorgeous already. Now you pour the rest of the marinade through a sieve into and you're going to keep this for later. Also dry your vegetables with some kitchen roll. Heat some oil in the pot. Add the pieces of chicken and cook until they turn golden brown on all sides. Once they have that nice color, remove them. And add the onions and carrots instead. Low heat for five minutes. After five minutes, cover with flour. And mix well. Add the pieces of chicken back into the pot. Add the garlic. Now add the cognac. On high heat, light a match, whoosh, a nice flambe. Once the flames have gone, add the wine marinade. Season, salt, pepper, keep the heat up and bring it to boil. It's boiling, so turn the heat down, cover and cook for 2 hours and 15 minutes. In the meantime, Rinse the mushrooms under cold water. Slice the mushrooms. They can be thick slices.
Now cut your bacon in smaller pieces. Melt some butter in the saucepan. Add the bacon. Then add the mushrooms. If you have kept some chicken blood, add it now. And then cook for five to 10 minutes. Once the chicken has cooked for two hours and 15 minutes, let's have a look. Add the mushrooms and the bacon. And cook for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, da -da -da, your cock oven is ready. And voila, a beautiful cock oven. Look at that cock. It's a real treat which you want to share with friends. Let's have a taste of it. Mmm, looks good. Mmm! Oh! Oh yes, baby! That is so good! Bon appétit! Hey, how was that? Well... Cocova is great for special occasions, but it's still pretty easy to make. So don't wait until Christmas. Treat yourself and your loved ones at the weekend. It goes really well with mashed potatoes, sauté potatoes. But if you want to make it really special, I recommend Gratin Dauphinois. I have made a video for Gratin Dauphinois, so just go and check it out. But wow, Cocova. And Gratin Dauphinois, oh, you'll be in heaven. And by the way, Gratin Dauphinois is also a French Christmas classic. And don't forget, for more traditional French recipes, just hit the subscribe button to get the updates and check out my other videos. Keep on cooking! A bientôt!